Hey guys, this is Michael here. I'm going to show you how to make these great little character drawings with Adobe Illustrator. So let's go File and New. And when I do a new photo, uh, sorry, not Photoshop, when I do a new Illustrator, I always like to choose the uh, landscape option, which is that one. And there we go. So here's our new document. So the tools that you're going to use the most of are over here. First thing I need to show you is the selection tool. So you always use that when you want to grab an object and move it. So the ellipse tool, when I click and hold my mouse underneath the ellipse tool, you've got rectangle. Well, actually, yours probably has a rectangle tool. A rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, and so on. Um, we want to use the ellipse tool quite a bit. We want to use the rounded rectangle tool quite a lot and the, the rectangle tool. Let's get started. <clears throat> when we use the rounded rectangle tool, uh, your rounded rectangles probably won't come out looking like that. They'll come out looking a little bit squarer on the corners. So when that happens, um, if I just click once on the screen, and you'll get some numbers here. Now the, the, the magic numbers are 20, that should be millimeters, doesn't matter, pixels is fine. Uh, look, I'll make it 200. No, no, no. For the sake of the argument, we'll go 20, 30, 10. Now yours will say 10, so yours will say millimeters, mine's pixels, so this is going to turn out really small. Yeah, see how tiny that is? But that's pretty much the right dimensions that you want for that shape. So that is a good head shape. So we can delete that one, I like this one better. <clears throat> so 20, 30, 10 millimeters is the magic number to get that shape. Um, okay, let's give it a skin tone. Now I'm going to go fairly light this time. <coughs> Okay, we don't want the outline, so let's get rid of the outline. That's called the stroke. You'll find that up here. Um, thickness, stroke, weight, that's here. We just make that zero. The other way you can do it is down here. This is the stroke color as well. So you can click on the stroke and go none. And that turns the stroke off. Okay, we want some eyes. No, we'll do mouth first. Mouth. So let's get to do the mouth, we're going to do the ellipse tool make it black, make a perfect circle. How do you make a perfect circle? Well to get a perfect circle just hold down the shift key. If you don't hold down the shift key this is what happens. It goes like an ellipse. As soon as you press the shift key it'll jump to a perfect circle. See that? Okay so I make a big uh, semicircle, a big circle. We're going to make that a semicircle. How do we do that? Well watch this. Let's get the rectangle tool. What? What's that for? You'll see. Just going to put that over the circle. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to get our selection tool again. We're going to select both objects so that they're both selected. Go up to our Windows tool and we need to get the Pathfinder window. The Pathfinder. And then we get these different shape modes. Now you can have a play and see what they all do, but what we want is this one here. Click on that and it cuts away the rectangle and half the semicircle this half the circle leaving us this semicircle let's create two more of them how did i do that holding down the alt key on your keyboard see how that changes the cursor click and drag hold alt key down click and drag that's a lot quicker than going copy and paste you can go copy and paste which is command c command v um, but it is a lot quicker just to do that with the Alt key. Next thing I want to rotate this round, so move the cursor slightly off the corner, spin that round like that, slightly, it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm going to go slightly off, and I'm going to bring up the other one so that these two intersect, and I'm looking at, actually I'll just bring that down a little bit more, I'm looking at this shape in here, so to get that shape, this is for the tongue, okay? I want to use this one of the Pathfinder shape notes. Okay, tongue color. Double click on the fill. Do you see how I did that? This is the fill area, that's the stroke color, fill color. Double click. Let's get a tongue color, somewhere between red and pink. That'll do. And I'm going to make it just slightly smaller than original because I want to drag this now down into here. I'm going to place that 
just about there. And then I'm going to select the two, hold down the shift key to resize it, and there is my mouth. Still a bit big, so let's just make the head a little bit bigger. Not bad. Okay, eyes. Now, I'm having some luck with eyes, so let's see if we can do another really good eye. So using the ellipse tool, I'm going to go slightly just off white. Nearly white, but not quite. Let's make an ellipse like that. Let's make a circle, perfect circle, like that. And this circle is going to be, let's say, what color eyes? Let's say blue eyes. That's nice. Place that on the top. Something like that. Make that just a little bit smaller. Yep. And then we make another circle. Just alt click drag. Resize it down a little bit more using the shift key. Make that one black. Point that in there. And that's pretty good. A tiny little bit smaller. That's great. And then one more circle. A lot smaller. You might be thinking, what's this about? You'll see. Perfectly white. And we just drag that to about there. Maybe a tiny bit big. Let's go a bit smaller. Yep, that's pretty good. And one more thing we're going to do is we're going to copy that oval. We're going to make it darker. And I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to go Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And play around with what number this needs to be. Let's go about maybe 20 something. That's too much for this one. You can experiment with that. You don't want it to be too blurry. Let's try, depends on the original size of your drawing too. We'll see what that's like. I'm going to drag that under here. Oh, I want that at the back. So right click, arrange, center back. Hmm. Just make it a tiny little bit bigger. That's not bad. I'm going to blur it again because I think we could go a little bit more, more applied to what we should do. Okay. Yes, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> now I'm going to select all of those. Alt, click, drag. And there are my eyes just staring at me. Now they're way too big, so let's select both of them and scale it down. That little blur underneath just makes them really pop. What do you notice? Yeah, one of them's too far back. You can't see the blur. So let's right click on our head, arrange, send that one to back, and there's our shadow popping through. Not too bad. I think the eyes are probably still a little bit too big, so let's move them over. <clears throat> Looks like a potato. Now, what's next? Nose. Okay, so this one's an interesting technique. We're going to grab, um, what are we going to do? Get an ellipse again. Make it about that shape. Notice how we are sticking with the color of the background or of the, the face. Um, so we want that. No outline. Make sure you're not using outlines for this or strokes. Make it a little bit darker than the skin. Just a little bit darker, maybe that much. All right, and now I'm going to make a second um, circle. And now I'm going to select the two. Notice you've got this tiny little slither here. That's what I want. So back to the Pathfinder, click on that, and that gives us this. You might think, what is that? I will show you. We just point that in there. Maybe make it a little bit wider. And there is like a little bit of shadow underneath the nose. Let's do some ears. Grab a circle. So if it's the wrong color, just grab the eyedropper and 
click on the color that you want. Let's make another circle. Make it a little bit smaller. Place it over the middle. And let's make it, no, don't double click on it. Let's double click on that and make it a little bit darker, just like we did with the nose. And this is going to be our ear. Now, we want the ears to be sort of behind the head, so we're going to go arrange, send to back, and just drag that over to there like that. Let's create a second copy of that. Put it on the other side. Uh, another one that I've just thought about is a chin. So you can just grab the nose, make a copy of it, and you've got a chin. If anything, make it a little bit lighter than the nose, uh, or even a little bit wider. All right, we need some hair for our mate. Now, curly hair is the easiest. So let's grab our ellipse tool and let's make some curls. We're going to make his hair black in this particular case. Maybe not so big. Let's go smaller curls. Let's put one there. And using the Alt key, just drag out a whole heap of these. And with these ones, I'm going to select both together with the Shift key. Right click, arrange, center back. If you want to do really long hair, just grab those, stretch it out, and go like that. There's lots of different ways you could do a body, but let's keep it really simple. Um, just use the Alt and drag out all the different body parts. Resize them as you need to. So again for clothes, let's try and keep it nice and simple. Just another rounded rectangle. That'll do. Now, if you want to have uh, sleeves on your shirt, just do that. That's okay. If you want to have a little v-neck, you can get this, the skin color again. Let's make a polygon. Single click on the screen. Three-sided polygon. Let's just rotate, no, let's not rotate, just flip it down like that. That in there. You can make that as low cut or as high cut as you like. It's not bad. Shoes, same sort of thing, just plonk in some round rectangles. There we go. That's alright. Ears are a bit high, aren't they? That'll do. Um, now, to make a whole family of these, all you need to do is make a copy of it. Use the Alt key, drag out another one, and just make some minor alterations. And next thing you know, you'll end up with, oops, you'll end up with two very distinct looking people. Just make some minor changes, like just, I don't know, turn the mouth around a little bit, make them slightly different shape. Make the chin a little bit higher or lower or broader or shorter. Just little things that make everyone unique. Make sure you move the nose a little bit. Just swap that around, move that around a bit. And then rotate the nose a little. Just 
change the outfit just a tiny bit. Yep, different colour shirt. Select all three of those. I hope that was useful and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.